like darkness. <sighs> Welcome back everyone. As you see, we're still here in Anolondo after just having schooled Aldrich so freaking hard. But anyways, we're gonna just basically do a little bit of cleanup with this episode. As in, we're gonna be fully exploring like what's left of Anolondo because I kind of like speed, speed ran like the last part of it. But anyways, when you come up here into this place, this is where Guinevere, the daughter of Gwyn, used to be. You can tell by the absolute massive, like, pillows, she, chair, and all that, that she was huge. But not in the bad way. Uh, you pick up the Sun Princess ring, which is actually a very good ring for invasions, in my opinion, and for passive healing. It's not that good because it's low, because you kind of need to stack it up with other passive healing items. There's not to explore on either side of these. Not basically not until New Game Plus or Plus Plus or Plus Plus Plus. Because yes, there's rings for every single item. Well, not every single ring. There's like a ring for most of them. That goes up to like Plus 3. Like the Life Ring or some other rings. Anyways, if you also pay attention to this floor. You can see a massive amount of freaking skeletons. Because of all the people Aldrich the freaking fat priest devoured. Throw you. I almost want you. Man, that fat priest got some speed to him. Hey, you trying to grab me? No, I don't like hugs. Thank you. I always punch this one. I believe, like, the priests just don't take a lot of damage. Especially these ones, because these guys are, like, absolute units. In fact, they also do that after a while if you're too close to them and they can't hit you. And they also fall over if you do enough damage to them, which I think is a little neat touch. Anyways, you also got these slug monsters that are here. They take almost no damage from anything except for fire, case in point. But they're also basically not a threat. And we're going to... Ugh, stupid freaking thing. Punch, 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 punch. Good lord, you have a lot of health. I'm just going to use... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fireball. Take care of you. You. Eh. What do you want, man? Come on. Go down. And punch, punch, punch. <laughs> What's wrong, man? You can't do anything. Anyways, take him out. Grab this proof concord cap. Very good item. Well, not really, but if you know what I mean. Anyway, if you go down here to this area, you want to be careful because if you look up, yeah, if you actually look up early, he falls down early. But if you go like right around here, you pick up this, you get another SS start. Yay! Anyways, this enemy we technically could encounter before in the Cathedral of the Deep because he drops the other half of the item we're about to get from this enemy by killing it. Oh god, and be careful because he can inflict curse and actually harm the enemies around him. Get out of here! Another one-time enemy, it drops Aldrich's ruby. And as you can probably guess, uh, if you went to the land in the Cathedral of the Deep, it drops Aldrich's sapphire. Ruby, sapphire, 
I see what you did there. Anyways, you push this open, and now you basically have a shortcut for for a beeline to Aldridge. Case in point, you want to do that. But say, hey, I'm not done fighting Aldridge. You say you want to do it again. Well, there's a way you can do it besides New Game Plus. Well, and being summoned, but... You get this, Moonlight Arrows, which are a unique type of arrow, because they... Well, you can only get them after doing a certain amount of time and collecting certain items. But anyways, you go up here, and then, like I said, you can see the enemy from, like, right there. I believe there was a, supposed to be a chest up here. I'm not sure if they removed it. Because I definitely remember on my first playthrough a chest being up there. But again, maybe it's only, like, a New Game Plus item or something like that. But anyways, like I was saying, say if you wanted to fight Aldrich again, say, I'm not feeling too kind on that mass, that sludge monster eating Gwendolyn, the best <laughs> the best character in all of Dark Souls. You can uh, you can do this to answer Henri's call, Henri of the Storm's call for cooperation and be summoned as a phantom. And therefore, you can actually be summoned just like you could with Cirrus, which will also happen later because there's another thing we can do with Cirrus. But it's kind of fun and also kind of dark. Anyways, yeah, you get summoned by Andrea. So now it's time to wreck some face and destroy Aldrich once again. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on. Oh wait, did I have my... I have all my rings on, yeah. I'm just not doing, like, my max damage. But now we... Yeah, look at this. Aldrin is already on his deathbed. But here's the thing. When you're summoned, you're also, like, slower in level. I don't have any way of healing my FP anymore, because I break all of it. Because you only get... You're, remember, you're at half Estus. Okay. And so it's harder to defeat Aldrin on this playthrough, this part, because, well, you have less to work with. So say if you're like me and you only have, like, two weapons. Oh, correct. By the way, yeah, I know I didn't show off a lot of Aldrin's moveset because, well, we pretty much, like, first stumped him pretty easily. Which is... Funny, but you also have to be careful here because if Andre dies, well, that's a fail on your part. What we're going to do is just punch Andre. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Because it's just, Andre is just focusing on the bigger net and not the one dipping at its toes. Too, by helping any co-op any enemy in jolly cooperation and bam you helped yourself too um you helped Henri now here's the thing um helping Henri does still have like a downside to uh, doing anything because in order for undead to not go mad they have to have a purpose what the 
What the? Who died? Well, anyways, after you complete that, uh, there will be a stone here. A light stone, or one of those stones. So basically, a marker, if you will. Kind of like in uh, Code Vein. That you can put, that is put down here. Signifying that you have completed the quest with, um, Henri. Ah, crap. Well, whatever. Back attacks for the win. I'll take that, thank you. And we're actually going to rest here again. And But this time we're going to take the lever down. I say no, that's a terrible idea now that I think about it. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're just going to rest at the bonfire and we're going to travel back down towards Pontiff Sullivan's area. You're thinking, Omega, why would you go back down to Pontiff Sullivan's area? Well, Pontiff Sullivan's area, we still haven't fully explored yet because there's still the courtyard that we didn't fully explore, even though it's just items there, I believe, like embers and souls. But we, if you also remember, we didn't go down that ladder. So I was like, huh, you know what? Let's go down that ladder this episode. Now, this part can be extremely difficult. How do I know? Well, I played the game, duh. So I would know if something's... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back. I just realized I screwed up with my mic settings. So anything you may have heard in the last episode may have been wrong. So I'll be back real quick. Okay, I'm back. I'm an idiot. I'll have to put in audio. So if my voice is double layered in the episode, I apologize immensely for that. Like, I actually very much do. Good lord, why can't I can't keep be consistent? Well, it's because I constantly unplug my computer from this because my computer's a laptop, not a gaming PC, so anytime I screw up, that's on me. Because I wasn't paying attention enough, I should have been paying more attention. <laughs> I barely noticed it, too. So I had to put, like, the boss theme. Like, you guys probably didn't even hear the boss theme. You, what am I talking about? You guys definitely didn't hear it. Anyways, make this up, Soul of the Weary Warrior. And by the way, if you're in this area, guess what? You'll be attacked by giants. So what you want to do is just hurry up, grab the items, and leave. You can easily kill these giants. And I'm not joking about that. The, the giants are actually very, very easy to kill. All you gotta do is aim for their heads, and ta-da, everything dies. But what we're going to do is that we're going to slide down the ladder. And it's actually a very long ladder. And don't try to fall down this. You'll die, obviously, even with the silver cavern. As you see, there's a pontiff beast over there. But there's not just one. There is two! So you want to be careful when you do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a bunch of bombs. And aim at one, and then we'll take down the other. There we go. I do not recommend taking on both these beasts at once because they will just wreck your crap if I'm being honest. Case the point. Oh yeah, they can shoot lightning by the way. But just one round of vestige and you defeat them. Now you actually do want to be careful when you go through here because they will wreck your crap. Anyways, pick this up. Human Dregs. That's another Covenant item. And guess what? This one also just charges at you. Crap. You want to be careful because the lightning I think goes out pretty... Well, it doesn't really. It's just in that area. Oof. Okay. Ugh. God, these things are aggressive. Oof. Oof. And Ooh. 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 <laughs> and take it out. And you get the ring of favor for defeating both of them. And yes, it's both of them. Don't try to be smart and try to take out one and then the other. It's like, oh it's fine. But the ring of favor is actually a very good item. Pick this up, get a deep gem. And if you go over here you can light the bonfire and then you have an easy access point for this point, for this 
new covenant that you get by only defeating these two. I guess you could say it's kind of like a secret covenant, but this is Archdeacon McDonald. Uh, you saw those other priests. This man is massive. Anyways, you can ask to join the covenant. This won't affect any other relationship with any other covenant. And you get part of the Aldrich faithful. And you have attained proof of the covenant. Their covenant item is human dregs, which you can get by uh, invading here in, well, just specifically this part of Ann Arlondo or Arthel or the Boreal Valley. Yeah, specifically this part. Hey, by the way, there are so many people here. Like I said in the last but there's just so many freaking people. Anyways, we're going to travel. And that's basically it for this episode, if I'm being honest, because we cleared out pretty much all of Anna Orlando, present Tower, all that. So that's actually a pretty short episode. So with that, everyone, my name is Omega Zero, and I will catch you all later. Like darkness.